I was only going to run for 12 hours. I wasn't planning on fundraising. We weren't going to make a film. I've got a bit of a story for you. Last night, myself and Frit watched the Wild Bass Film Festival. And in it, there was this man who ran around the block, around his house, that was a mile block, on the hour, every hour for like 24 hours, completing like a 24 hour marathon. And it like really resonated with me. And so this morning, when I woke up, I thought that we've got a little block around the house. So I thought, why don't I just go run it and see how far it is. And then I'm a bit scared of doing it in the dark and committing for the 24 hours. But I thought like, why don't I just try and do it from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and see how far I get? Time started going really fast. I'd get in and sit down, start work, and before I knew it, it was time to run again. It's amazing how much and how little you can do in an hour. It's run number four! Halfway through the morning, I decided to start fundraising. I've been wanting to do more for help refugees and choose love, and this seemed like the perfect opportunity. I'm glad I didn't plan in advance or try and wait for good weather. Just getting on and doing it meant that I couldn't use rain as an excuse. And actually, I felt it rejuvenating every time. At 7pm, I decided to take the leap and to try and keep running throughout the night. On the hour, every hour. Round of 14, and I think this might be my last run in daylight. And I've still got a very long way to go. When I came down from the initial height, I came down really hard. Hardly anyone had donated to the fundraiser, and I took it personally. It made me feel really lonely like I didn't really have any friends anymore. It just made me question if I was a terrible person and if I'm a good enough friend. just found out, well, I've not found out, I knew it all along, but I've just remembered that I'm absolutely petrified of the dark. The darkness made me reach out. I couldn't face to run alone, so I messaged anyone I thought would be awake. I was overwhelmed with the response. I spoke to people I haven't spoken to in years. Old friends, new friends, people I've never even met. And I even found out one of my best friends is pregnant. I thought running the same half a kilometre loop again and again would be monotonous. That I might have to trick myself to keep it interesting. But that couldn't be further from what happened. Every single loop was different. It had a different feel. The sea was different, the sky, the stars, the moon and the clouds changed all the time. I saw shooting stars, rabbits and a fox. I tried to film them on my phone, but obviously you can't see anything. This is my run. This is how good it looks. And there's a fucking badger. That was a fucking badger. Yeah! I think it's now 2am. You're not going to be able to see me for most of this. The middle of the night, and I'm going for a run, and I'm actually feeling pretty alive. Like, what a magical time to be alive! It's now nearly 
Okay, five o'clock in the morning. Um, I've not slept. And I'm recording this in the bathroom because Brit is absolutely passed out fast asleep in the living room. I've got three more laps to get. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave my five o'clock lap till maybe like ten past five because the sun rises at half past and I can sort of see that it's creeping and getting lighter and I just really want to get that fresh morning air and just run by myself and just know that I've made it through the night. Originally I planned to sleep in four 20 minute blocks early in the morning but in the end I only slept twice, totalling about 20 minutes. I've done a lot of all-nighters before, but they were way more difficult because you have to dance and talk to people. And at least in this, in between times, I got to sit down. It's my last run. And it's tipping it down. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a I'm really excited to finish. I'm really excited that this is the last one. I'm really excited to sleep. I made it! It's just phenomenal to think that 48 hours ago I had no idea that my 48 hours would look like this. I ran for 24 hours. I fundraised over £300 for Help Refugees Choose Love and we made this film. I hope you liked it. This is how I spent my 24 hours. How will you spend yours? Thank you.